Rangy, we've beaten Tranmere 3-0 in the league. Just how good a performance was that? Um, yeah, it was good as as good as we've seen all season. We've put in some really good performances this season, but it's right up there. And um, similar to the Berry game, in many respects, that we've gone in at half time three 0 up, which is um, it, it doesn't happen too often in football. So we put ourselves in a great position really early on in the game, taking our chances. And um, the second half then is just about not conceding a goal um, and making sure in 90 minutes we've got the three points. It's a win that takes us top of the league on goal difference, so the lads must be buzzing in there. Yeah, there's a really happy change room, and they've been great. over the course of the season really from day one. They've had they've put in good performances, and the results have um, reflected that. So there's not been it's not been an unhappy camp for a, for a while, and they'll be buzzing tonight when they see themselves top of the league. But I guess the hard work starts now to see if we can maintain it and stay there. Yeah, of course, four wins on the bounce now, so the the confidence must be growing ever and more. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right, and especially the way we're winning games, we're scoring a lot of goals, and it's another clean sheet today. And it, like you say, it breeds confidence. The striker scoring, defenders keeping clean sheet, goalie, as well. Um, and we're going into every game at the moment, and we're thinking, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go and win this game, and we start fast, we're aggressive, and uh, we create chances. We're hard to beat at the back. Like teams won't like playing against us because we've got we've got an excellent mentality, and like you say, with winning games, the mentality is getting stronger and stronger, and the belief within that changing room at the moment is is absolutely unbelievable. And that was a Tranmere team that had won all of their games in the league so far so does that make it that extra bit special yeah it's nice to end i think we ended fleetwood's run last week and i think we've ended ended theirs today and they've only conceded two goals um all season so for us to go and stick three past them in 25 minutes is is credit is well, credit to our lads really because um they they'll you know they're a good side they were a good side last season they've got um a good system so they're um no, uh, they'll be right up there at the end of the year, I'm sure. They'll be challenging, but it's just pleasing for us today that we've managed to put an end to their run and we've continued ours. Just looking at the game, Charlie Higgs opened the scoring in seven minutes. How do you, how do you think he got on? Charlie, yeah, is an under-16, and since last year I've worked with him very, very closely. And um, He's a kid with an excellent attitude, um, an eye for goal. He's an impro- and he's improving all the time, especially with his hold-up play. And so today, the amount of headers is one. He's not giving those defenders a moment of peace. And he, today, he's probably playing against second-year defenders, lads who are two years older than him. So he's he's done excellently, and he needs to keep working hard and pushing on because that's what's that's what's got him to this stage. That's what's got him out there today. Um, and obviously, me and Dorsey will be making sure, and Sharpsy as well. We'll be making sure we're working with him day, every time he's in training with us to make sure he continues improving because. Um, like hopefully in time definitely next year anyway he's going to be playing on this pitch and we want him to be we want him to be our number nine and then Jordan Wilson adds another two before half time he seems to be in a good vein of form after coming back from injury yeah he's hit the ground running um it's like he's it's like he's never been away to be fair because he missed the whole of pre-season and since he's come back he's scored a lot of goals that might be five or six for him already so far this season um and he's He's taking his chances. There's not many. He's not getting many chances during games, and the one he's getting, he's putting away. And he scored a great little header today, and one on his left foot where he's taking the keeper by surprise. And every striker gets gets judged on how many goals they score. So again, he, he'll be uh, he'll be happy tonight. There's less action in the second half, but in the end, a clean sheet. What does that mean to you, the coaches and the players? Um, yeah, if we keep a clean sheet, then we're not going to lose a game of football. The worst we're going to do is draw, so we give ourselves an excellent chance. Um, and the more clean sheets we get, the more, again, the more confidence it breeds for the rest of the squad about us having a positive result at the end of the game. Shows a lot about this group as well, being able to keep a clean sheet when you get to 3-0 up inside 25 minutes. That's, that's really tough then to go and keep your concentration for nearly 70 minutes a game and you're focusing. Like, we're not only keeping clean sheets, we're limiting chances for teams. I think maybe last week against Fleetwood we um, we didn't defend as well as we like, but today with Sean's probably made one save in the first half, and then there's been a few balls in and around our box. But we've got players in there that are willing to stick the bodies on the line to stop the ball going in the goal. And if someone makes a mistake, then there's people there's people hunting around to make sure it's rectified straight away. The work ethic is phenomenal, and full credit to the boys because it's it's them that go out there and do it week on week. And is Port Vale away next? That's always a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, a little bit of a bogey team for us. They beat us twice last year. Um, so it'll be a tough game. They're a hard working side. So um, we've got to make sure we go with them with the right attitude now because they'll be looking at the league and going, these are top. Let's try and, you know, they'll want to topple us. So we've got to go there and be able to stand up to what will be what will be a tough test. But hopefully if we put a, a similar performance into what we've done today um, and the similar work rate, then, then we won't go too far wrong.